Selling a home is a complex and challenging process, so avoiding these common mistakes is critical to achieving a successful sale. In my last video, I talked about the top five reasons why buyers would come to Simi Valley. Why, 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 why. Simi Valley is already known for its beautiful location, its affordability, outdoor activities, excellent schools, and its safety. But despite all these advantages of selling your home in Simi Valley, you still need to be aware of these common mistakes. In this video, I'll make you aware of the common mistakes that I see in Simi Valley when sellers are trying to sell their home and how you can avoid them. Boom, 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 boom. What's going on everyone? I'm Ryan Mills. I'm a realtor with the M&M team at Aviar Real Estate and I've been helping buyers and sellers for nearly 20 years in the Simi Valley market. If you need to get a hold of me, my contact information is in the details. Feel free to text, call, email, or even book an online video appointment with me. Please give my channel a like and subscribe and if you feel like it, leave me a comment below. All right, now let's get into the video. Probably the most common mistake sellers can make when trying to sell their home is pricing. Overpricing a home is one of the most common mistakes. Sellers believe that their home is worth more than it actually is. This may be based on emotional attachment or misinformation from unreliable sources. Buyers may be turned off by the high price and your property may sit on the market a little bit longer than you had expected. And we all know that when your home sits on the market longer than necessary, this leads to lower offers and a reduced final sales price. On the other hand, underpricing your home is another common mistake. Simi Valley sellers think that when they list their property at a lower value that they will attract more buyers. However, that could result in leaving money on the table. Also, when you undervalue your home, that may give buyers the impression that there's something wrong with your home. Again, this could lead to lower offers or a reduced sales price. To avoid these common pricing mistakes, sellers should work with a qualified real estate agent. Agents can provide sellers with an up-to-date and accurate market analysis for the area. Experienced agents take into consideration the location, the size, the condition of the property, and have already sold homes in the area. With the information from an agent, sellers can set a competitive and realistic price that will attract buyers to get the best value for your home. By avoiding common pricing mistakes, sellers can set themselves up for a profitable and successful sale. The next mistake I would like to talk about is when sellers leave their home unrepaired or it's not staged properly. Neglecting repairs is a common mistake. It's important for you to fix any obvious or minor repairs before putting your home on the market. Things like loose doorknobs, leaky faucets, or broken appliances. These small repairs can make a big difference on how a home is perceived by buyers. Failing to declutter a home is also a common mistake. When you're selling your home, it's important for you to make the home as appealing and as inviting as possible. This can be achieved by removing any unnecessary clutter and personal items. Here's a pro tip. I often tell sellers to envision what it looks like when they walk into a hotel room. Hotel rooms are staged properly they have natural decor and furniture. There's no personal items on the wall. Often you'll find a few pieces of art. Staging your home like this can help buyers envision themselves living in your home. Another mistake, poor curb appeal. The exterior of your home is the first thing buyers see, so it's important to make a first good impression. That the lawn is mowed, any overgrown shrubs or trees are trimmed, and that the exterior of the home is clean and well-maintained. Adding some small potted plants or flowers could also help with curb appeal. To avoid home condition or staging mistakes, sellers should thoroughly clean and prepare their home for sale. You also may want to consider consulting with a professional stager or an inspector to identify any problems before the home goes on the market. Avoiding these common home condition mistakes can make the home more appealing and ensure a successful sale in the long run. Another common area where sellers make mistakes is in the marketing. In today's digital age, buyers are starting their home search online and are more likely to click on homes with appealing photos. It's important to use high quality photos that show off the home's best features. Hiring a professional photographer that uses high quality cameras and drones can help achieve this. In addition to high quality photos and videos, sellers should be utilizing online marketing channels, social media, real estate websites, sites and listing portals can reach a wider audience of potential buyers. All these outlets can generate more interest in the home and generate a potential sale. Not highlighting the home's unique features is also a common marketing mistake. Every home has unique features such as stunning views, a spacious backyard, or an updated kitchen. It's important to highlight these features in all of the marketing. This can help set the home apart from others that are on the market and make your home more appealing. To avoid these marketing mistakes, sellers should work with experienced real estate agents. A good real estate agent has already developed these comprehensive 
marketing strategies and uses a variety of the channels I mentioned earlier. So as you can see, selling a home is a complex process and it's important for sellers to be aware of common mistakes to avoid to ensure the sale of their home. To avoid these common mistakes, sellers should work with qualified real estate agents who can provide them with excellent support and guidance throughout the selling process. If you like what you see here, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you know of anybody who could utilize my services, please share my information. I have a lot more videos coming, but in the meantime, feel free to leave a comment about what you would like to hear about. Until then, I'm Realtor Ryan. Thanks for watching. Feeling lucky. <laughs> Without further ado, tissue boo boo. A reduced final sales price. Avoiding these common. <laughs> Up. In today's digital age, buyers are starting their home search online. Buyers are starting their search online. Buyers are starting their search online. <laughs> I just said it three times in a row. Huh. I'll say that again. We're doing it again. Using a professional photographer, <clears throat> prof professional photographer, a <laughs> professional photographer, professional photographer, no, professional photographer, <laughs> hiring a fish. <laughs> Why? Why can't I do it? What did I say? Yeah. I only got a few more points to go. That was good.